What's up guys, it's Andy and today we are filming a cleaning my grooming tote slash taking stuff out that I don't use anymore and just kind of making everything look nice. As you know, I got a new grooming kit for Christmas and that's gonna be for my future horse. So in the meantime, I do have one set of brushes and I use these uh, for getting ready whatever horse I'm riding in my lesson and it's been probably over a year since I've actually like cleaned any of this stuff, which I know is terrible, especially when you're using it on multiple horses. So I wanna go ahead and give everything a deep clean, get rid of the stuff that I don't use anymore and have it ready to go for my next lesson. I'm doing this vlog this week instead cause I work on Saturday. So I will not be having a riding vlog on Saturday. So this will go up instead. And I wanted to kind of mix up the content a little bit. I feel like I post riding vlogs a lot. And although that's the most popular type of vlog, I feel like my views have kind of plateaued. A lot of you commented on my last video, so that was awesome, but the views are still really low. So I want to just try something different. Another thing I'm going to be trying is like a clean tack with me and Q&A type video. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be filming that in the future. Probably next month that one will go up. So let's go ahead and go to the kitchen and get cleaning my grooming tote. So the first thing we need is cleaning supplies. So we're gonna go upstairs. This is my little townhouse. Okay, so I have to get up there for a towel, which is gonna be problematic because I'm quite short. Okay, now that we have the towel, we're gonna go back downstairs to the kitchen and get everything set up. Do, 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 do. And you can't clean the grooming kit without the grooming kit. So there's my beautiful car and there's my grooming kit. There's my new grooming kit. Old grooming kit, new grooming kit. Old grooming kit, new grooming kit. We're gonna clean this one. Oh boy. Okay. Put that in. All right, so we are all set up in the kitchen. I've got my grooming tote here, and I'm first gonna just pull everything out, see what I wanna keep, see what I don't wanna keep, and then we'll get to cleaning. So, riding crop, have to keep and it is really dirty, so I am actually gonna wash it. Um, I use this mostly for the ponies. Then from, let's start on this side. I've got leather cleaning wipes. I would actually put these in a bag because the sticky part doesn't stick anymore. So they're gonna dry out pretty quick. I've got two containers of those because they are like my favorite thing. I get them from Fleet Farm, which is one of our like farming type uh, stores that we have where I live. Then I've got this really dirty metal curry comb, which is the opposite of the one I have now. So this has a flat end. So I actually was using this as a squeegee in the summer for the flat end. And then it's good for shedding and mud in the winter with the spiky end. And I've got Feebling's fly spray, which I could actually probably leave here because it's the middle of winter it was literally like four degrees at my lesson the other day, and I don't think we're gonna be needing fly spray for quite a while, but the bottle's pretty dirty, so we can definitely clean it up. This is my magic hoof brush that is really good for getting dirt and mud and stuff off, and I haven't actually used it that much, so it just needs a little bit of a cleanup, and then it'll be good to go. Then, ooh, what is this? <laughs> Um, these were my uh, bullet protectors for under the saddle where the girth goes. And as you can see, they are like covered in mold and disgusting. I'll zoom in on that. That's nasty. Um, I think we're just going to get rid of those because I don't really use it. I took them off for a reason. Then I've just got some hand lotion because my hands get really dry out at the barn, especially in the winter. 
This is my old Sleek Easy. See, they used to stain them. I had to stain my new one because it was just regular wood. So it's all like rusted and nasty. So I'm gonna try maybe some CLR spray on the metal and try and get that clean, but you can see all the like skin residue and stuff on it. So that's pretty gross, but definitely a keep for now because the new Sleek Easy is for the new horse. Then I've got my Cowboy Magic which still has a decent amount left, but the bottle is like really disgusting. So we're gonna clean that. Um, that's everything on that side. So now we're onto the middle. What is this? Oh look, more fly spray. I wonder if I can combine these two bottles, but I think I'm gonna just clean them and leave them at home for now because it's not really relevant for uh, winter in the Midwest. And then we've also got, oh my. Another Cowboy Magic, um, it's really dirty. Again, I've got a decent amount in here, so I might leave this home for now. I might clean it up and put it in my new grooming tote. And lastly in the middle, oh, it's all slimy and gross. I have some Hoof Flex, which is um, a bactericidal, fungicidal kind of spray liquid from Abzerbene. Um, we have a lot of wetness in the Midwest in the spring and the fall and the winter. So basically most months of the year, um, this is good to keep around for the horses. I will probably put this in my new grooming tote once I get it cleaned up because this doesn't really serve me any purpose now. Even if I was riding a horse for a lesson, I would just be telling the owner that something's wrong with their feet. I wouldn't actually be treating it myself. All right, now we're onto the brushes side. So this right now is kind of my body brush. It's not very stiff, um, but it does the job. And I think we're just gonna keep this one and get it all cleaned up and nice. Here's my hoof pick, which is disgusting and also has rust on it. And so we're gonna try and clean that up really well. Then I've got my mane and tail brush, which actually has all of its teeth still. Um, it's a tail tamer brush, so it's held up really well. I've had this for a long time, and as you can see, it has all the bristles, so I would recommend that as a good brand. This brush I kind of bought on a whim, and I actually don't like it. Um, something about it, it just doesn't fit with what I like, so I'm going to just be getting rid of that one. Plus, it's really gross and hairy, and ironically, I haven't even really used it, so I don't even know why I have it. Um, same goes for this one. I bought this off of Dover and like, I don't even know what this strap is. Like it's so hard, but it's like not leather. It's like what you'd expect a cheap stirrup, um, stirrup leather to be made out of. And it's all like bent and deformed and it's got rust on it and I'm just not interested in keeping it. So we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, face brush, uh, this is also a tail tamer brush I really like. Um, I love dark wood. That's like my favorite go-to. So I will be sad to be losing these brushes. They are all actually tail tamer. So this one, the body brush, the soft brush, and the main brush are all tail tamer. Um, you can go to uh, Professional Choice, which is profchoice.com if you are interested in those, but I'm pretty sure I bought them off Dover. I don't think Dover has them anymore though. Um, this is my soft brush, also from Tail Tamer. Um, yeah, I like it. It matches with everything. So again, keeping this one, going to be giving it a good brush. And then we've got this disgusting blue plastic Equa Essentials, um, kind of plastic curry comb. I really want one of these in gray to match my grooming set. And the only ones I could find were on Lemieux's website and it was a package of three, but I would have had to pay more to get it shipped here than to actually buy the product. So it's like a $12 three pack, but the shipping would have been $20. So I would have been paying almost $40 total just to get those brushes here, which is ridiculous. So maybe the next time I get a Lemieux pad from their website, I'll add on the brushes. But for now, like, I don't even really use this again. So it's like, I think I'm just gonna get rid of it, especially cause like some of the bristles are bent and it's like really disgusting and pretty gnarly. So I'm gonna put that in the get rid of pile. I think it only cost me a dollar at a tax store to buy this one time. So not too concerned. 
I've got a sponge here that, I mean, it, it looks fine. I don't think I've used it for anything. So I'm just gonna get like the hair off of it and keep it. I mean, you never know when you're gonna need a sponge, wipe somebody's eyes off or even clean tack out at the barn. Obviously don't use it for both. Um, we've got uh, Bannix wound care spray. So just anything that comes up, it's kind of an all in one, all farm animal type deal. Um, it says good for ringworm, rain rot, fungus, thrush, open wounds, ear infections, dog bites, hot spots, and itchy skin issues. And it's a non irritating formula with no colors, odors, antibiotics, and it's non toxic. So I got this for $3 somewhere. I don't even know. And it's hilarious because it says $3 on it, but then it says $4.49 and I could not tell you which price I paid, which is terrible of me, but I'm going to keep this because that's handy to have. If someone's got an open hock sore, that's really easy for me to spray on it. Like that type of thing I can do for my lesson horses. Ooh, thrush buster. Everybody's favorite purple monstrosity. Um, we're going to get rid of this. This is why I bought this because this kept staining the floor at the barn and although it works well, um, it looks like it's actually a carcinogen to people. So that's awesome. Um, you would have to swallow it, but still it's just some of this older stuff, even though it works, it's just not the best. So we're going to get rid of that. Then coming to the other side, we've got a black rubber curry comb. I might keep this. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to clean it up. All of my stuff is black, but I do have a curry comb, so I may not have use for this, but for now, we're just going to keep it and deal with that. <sighs> my jelly curry. Why can't they make these in neutral colors? Like I don't want glitter with blue or glitter with purple. Like sure. When I was 15, that was cool. But now I'm an adult and I want a professional looking grooming kit, but this is like a godsend. So the fact that I can't find this in black makes me really sad. Um, so I'm going to clean this and keep this for now because it does go with my blue theme that I have going on for my grooming bag right now. Um, let's see. Then we've got um, my Farnham roll on fly spray. Um, this is great for the summer. I don't think there's I don't hear any liquid in here. So I think I'm going to throw this out. I think it's dried out. No, it still has some, but there's no liquid. I think I'm just going to get rid of it. And then I'm going to get a new one when summer comes because there's very little in there. I've literally had this for years, so it did its purpose. It's time to go. Okay. Coming to the side over here, I have a weight tape which I will probably keep for now. Um, I might try to like clean up the nasty stuff off of it, but at the end of the day, like a weight tape is going to be coming in handy for any horse that you have. Um, and I think it also is a measuring tape as well. So when I have to measure a new horse for a blanket, this will work out perfectly. And then I've got a pen, which I should maybe make sure actually works on paper because what's the point of having a pen if it doesn't work, but everyone should have a pen. Then I've got my main pulling comb. Obviously this is universal, so we're going to keep that. I've got all these black braids, um, sorry, black braiding bands. I think I'm going to get rid of them because the horses I ride at the barn, only one of them has a black mane. So if I even was going to do a show, these probably wouldn't work for most of the horses. And not to mention, if I was going to do a show, it would be a schooling show where we don't actually have to plat the horses. So, I mean, I've had these bands for years. They probably would snap the minute I tried to use them. So for now, we're going to get rid of those. And I think that's it on that side. And then on this side, Scissors. You should always have a pair of scissors. You need them for poultice. You need them for mane and tail trimming. You need them for getting tags off of stuff. You need them for hay bales. I mean, anything and everything you can use scissors for. Um, 
I probably need a new pair. These are starting to rust, but I'm gonna try and clean them up the best that I can. And last but not least, an empty bag that I think has a hairnet. Um, although this hairnet would now match my hair color, um, I hate these regular hairnets. I like the sock type that are elastic and have the open ends on both ends. So I'm gonna just get rid of this. And there's a scrunchie that goes with it, so that's gross. So that's the get rid of pile. And then now we gotta dump this thing out because it's disgusting. So this is our throwaway pile. As you can see, um, a decent amount of stuff that I didn't really realize I was carrying around that serves no purpose to me. And here's my really moldy <laughs> billet covers, which the girths, it just makes the saddle stick out too far because I do not have a mono flap. So we're gonna get rid of those. And this is the keep pile, which is still a very decent amount of stuff, but you can see everything is just like gross and dirty and needs a wash. And the grooming kit obviously is really dirty and can definitely use a wash as well. So first things first, let's get rid of the stuff that's going in the garbage. So we have a pretty full garbage bag already. So I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff into the trash, yuck. Very dirty, it's got that grimy feel. All this stuff, and that is it for the garbage. And now I'm gonna be taking this and emptying it into ooh, my garbage can, because it's disgusting. I found two more main pulling combs. Where did those come from?
So now everything is all clean. Sadly, the CLR only really worked to help with the scissors getting some of the rust off, but it didn't do anything for like this piece here. It got a little bit off the sleek easy, but not much. Um, so everything's going to just sit here and dry. I'll probably hand dry anything that doesn't have bristles. I'll probably take a hair dryer to the bristled brushes just so that it helps them dry a little bit. But look at how clean it's literally sparkling. And I'm going to put away the stuff that I'm not planning on putting back in my grooming tote, like the fly sprays and the um, hoof flex from Absorbine. And probably one of the pulling combs is going to go away in my new grooming tote. So now that I have blow dried the brushes, you can see it has just brought them back to life. Like they're all fuzzy. They're a little damp still, but it's not too bad. So I would towel dry and then blow dry and I can go in and just snip off some of the crazy bristles. They are kind of... All right, we've completely cleaned the grooming tote. Everything is looking good. I probably could have done a better job of wiping down the inside of the tote, but the great thing about the Noble Equestrian tote is it has a mesh bottom, so everything just kind of falls through, so it's just a little bit dusty. But everything came really clean, and I have so much more space now that I don't have all that unnecessary stuff that I had previously. And that's all gone, and everything is just clean and ready to go for next week's riding vlog. So stay tuned, and like I said, we're going to be doing a cleaning tack Q&A coming up pretty soon, probably next month at some point. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next vlog.